welcome to my unboxing video for a matched pair of Rode NT5 small diaphragm condenser microphones. Uh, I bought these and also a comparative model from SE Electronics, a matched pair of SE8s. Uh, and I'm going to see which one is best suited to my needs, which are for indoor dialogue recording um, and go from there. Uh, I've bought matched pairs, you know, on the basis of they cost pretty much the same as two individual mics and you get cases with them. And also, just in case I ever did need to record instruments, it's nice to have a matched pair of stereo mics. So anyway, let's get on with the unboxing. So there's a row box, nice and simple. that open at the top and inside we've got a Rode microphone case okay and that's um, handles the sellotapes up so we need to slip that as well and the underside of sealing those in um, See what we've got inside here. Okay, so we've got um, NC5 instruction manual, an I Love Road microphone sticker, very useful. Um, very interesting for road mics, of course. Uh, you register them and you get a 10 year warranty, which I think shows a lot of faith in the product if they're willing to guarantee it for 10 years. Um, how good that guarantee actually is, uh, is another question, but uh, very, very unusual. <clears throat> so what else we got? We got a couple of these things. Um, oh right, yeah, I know what these are. They are fitted between uh, the mic and the sort of XLR socket to Oh, sorry, XLR plug to stop it jiggling about and presumably to maybe protect the bottom of the mic. Uh, and then you've got these pictorial fitting instructions. There we go. So you get two of those in their little sealy bags. on one side a minute uh, you got two pop shields okay you've got two plastic mic clips with the usual thread adapters three eighths to five eighths I think they are Oops, I put any other. and then finally you've got two Rode NT5 mics. First thing you notice about these is they're actually quite small. So two Rode NT5s in their little uh, sealy bags with the obligatory um, silica gel. So let's just take one out and have a look at it. Not the silica gel, the mic. Okay, uh, very very simple mics. No pad switches or filters on these mics. Uh, so you just got the, the barrel itself, very nicely machined. Um, obviously at the one end you've got the uh, male XLR connector and then at the other end you've got the bus business end of the mic. So, uh, so it's a matched pair, uh, half inch diaphragm condenser microphones in a cardioid pattern um, and you know They've got a very good reputation for um, their sort of ability to record instruments and so on, quite often used in studios uh, and lots of videos available on the, the web of these being used as a stereo pair to record things like acoustic guitars. But say my primary interest in them is as an alternative to using um, shotgun mics indoors when you get potential sort of phase issues using a shotgun and having uh, a couple of mics so I can record dialogue. So I'm going to pop all that back in now, now you've seen that, and I'm going to move on and do a similar unboxing 
on the SC Electronics SC8 and then a little later on I will be doing a comparison video and that comparison video is not going to be about the quality of the mics per se necessarily it's going to be about how suitable they are um, in terms of recording dialogue so it's quite a, quite a specific uh, requirement that I've got them for I'm not particularly interested in their ability to record instruments I'm interested in their ability to record a sort of um, reasonably true but more importantly engaging and clear vocal sound that's going to kind of cut through uh, so there you go uh, if you enjoyed that box unboxing video oh, sorry just pop the instructions and the oil of road sticker back in there uh, if you enjoyed that unboxing video give it a thumbs up if you didn't don't it's a free country and uh, i'll see you soon